Hey guys, this is Chris Camp, the Whip Guy. I'm going to uh, attempt to show you guys a couple maneuvers used by Michelle Pfeiffer in the movie Batman Returns, where she plays Catwoman. I'm going to be using an eight-foot uh, Terry Jack uh, bull whip. Um, this whip actually is the same style used in that film. In fact, it's about the same age. This whip's about 15 years old. Um, it's a whip that I use in all of my shows, and you'll, it's in great shape for being that old. Take really good care of it. However, you will notice that the wrist loop is gone. That is because it did wear out after time and just finally came off. Um, some people are always interested in shellacking or not shellacking their whips. I prefer to shellac my whips um, or the ones that I bought. I don't make my own, but this is uh, bought through David Morgan. It's a Terry Jacka whip. Um, I re-shellac this one probably once a year, and that is because I often work in climates where it's pretty hot outside, so I sweat a lot, especially in the hands, and I don't want the salt from that sweat getting into the whip. So what I do is I'll clean this off with a good saddle soap, and then once that's prepared, I'll hit it with some Picard's leather dressing, just a very light coating, and then um, put on some bullseye shellac. And that keeps it real nice, looks really good for a show. It's nice and shiny, plus it keeps some of that salt out. Now, the two um, things I'm gonna do for you are a couple body wraps and finishes that Michelle Pfeiffer used in that film. One's a clockwise, one's sort of a counterclockwise. Depends on what hand you use. I'm left-handed, so it'll sort of be the opposite for you guys. Um, I'm gonna back up and show them to you together and then I'll break them down and I'll put them into a small routine for you. These are usually used in conjunction with a forward flick, done in the horizontal. Of course, the forward flick, usually done overhand. You can also do it, and that's what you get your body wraps on an assistant with, okay? That's the, the flick that you would use. Now, you can also do body wraps on yourself. That move was actually developed by Brian Chick when he was about 11 or 12 years old, somewhere in, in that area. And a lot of us have learned that because of him. Now, these wraps and finishes um, are a very nice finish piece for a routine. The first one is really easy. I shouldn't say it's really easy, it's just less complicated than the second one. Let me show it to you again. Okay, makes a nice finish. Now what happens, let me show you the second one first before I go in. Okay. The second one is, here's the first. So together now with the second one, this. All right, a little flashier, okay? but a little bit more difficult also. The first one, you're gonna crack the whip, it's gonna wrap your body, okay? Now that we have that, all you're gonna do is take that handle of the whip on the same side of the throwing arm, and you're gonna wrap it around your neck. You're just gonna drop it over your shoulders, okay? It lands on the same side as that throwing arm. So let me do it slow, and then I'll do it fast. Here we go, slow, okay? and then fast. Okay, makes for a nice finish. Now the second one is a little bit more difficult because you need a little bit more slack in the whip, otherwise it's not going to lay nice. That meaning it's going to crack. And you want to lay nice down across the chest here. It makes a nice little X, all right? Show it to you again. And I'll slow it down for you. Okay, you want the slack in the whip. Let me try that again here. You want some slack in the whip because you're actually going to have to come, instead of this way, around, okay, you're going to come the opposite way, and over and around, okay? So, whereas the other one, you follow the momentum of the whip and bring it around here, this one you kind of go in the opposite direction. The whip's going that way, and you're coming this way, all right? So I'll do it again real slow, then we'll do it fast. Here we go. Okay, it makes for a nice, flashy ending. So here we go fast. All right, so here's what they look like when you put them into a small routine. You do a nice, do a nice finish into something else. And okay, that's the first one. Second one. And you can wrap it up like that. So I hope this has helped. I'm Chris Camp, the Whip Guy. Remember, check out IndieGear.com. This was done on their behalf. Uh, someone had a request to find out how that stunt was done. Um, if you're a big Indiana Jones fan, check them out. Anything about the gear, the history, anything that's happening in the movies, they'll probably know about it. IndieGear.com, check out the forum, Club Obi-Wan. Lots of great stuff, lots of good people. You can check me out at thewhipguide.com. I'm Chris Camp, have a great afternoon.